Over here we have something really amazing. There's a Grundig TK341 Deluxe Hi-Fi tape recorder. Believe it or not, but this has a tube amplifier. Building speakers. Sounds really good, this thing. View meters right here. They only work with uh, record. But this thing works like a charm. Ah, switch that on for playback. Fast forward. Rewind. This is all German names right here. And the start is playback. Three head machine. But now, the most amazing part, if you can see it right there, those are the tubes for the power amplifier. And they are glowing. This machine has two tubes for the power amplifier, but underneath this plate there's five more tubes for the record and play amplifiers. I'm gonna fast forward it more. It has this very old PASF tape on it. I think it's about as old as this recorder. This recorder is from 1966. But this tape was recorded on my Akai GX4000D. But this machine records really well. I just need to find the proper cable as it has all DIN plugs right here. Does anybody know what that plug is for? And that one? You know, I understand these are just DIN plugs, but I need to find a plug that fits these. And I don't know what those symbols mean. So if anybody can help me out with the manual or something. I know that this is microphone, but um, if I input selector right here. And these things correspond with lo uh, labels on the back side. And this is microphone. These inputs right here. But still need to find matching plugs, because these are DIN plugs. Let's fast forward it more here. Came with the original reel. I also have the dust cover and the bottom panel, of course. Grundig TK341 Deluxe Stereo. This means uh, winding. Play back here. Bass and treble. It sounds better with the bottom on there. But it has a really good sound. Three heads. Pinch will not disappear if you don't use it. Now I want to take a uh, more detailed look inside. I'm going to uh, get this tape off here and then I'll show you. Really fast rewinding. There's no auto stop so you have to press the stop button manually. Alright, we'll turn it off. It's the original Grundig reel, made in Germany. Let's get the plug out. There's even the original cable and it's in great condition. This thing is built as a tank, it's very heavy. Oh, there it says Grundig as well. You can see it's just the original old cable and the original old plug. It's all still great, so I'm going to keep it on there. It's a single motor machine, you can see the motor right here. Underneath there is the transformer for the power. These very old style circuit boards, and it has a couple of transistors right there. Very old style transistors. This machine is beautifully built, as you can see. Over there is the speakers. So there's a circuit board up there. It's a big capacitor. Something. I think that's a. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't know what that is. I think it's a magnet. Old style capacitors and 
variable resistors right there. The tube sockets for the uh, preamplifier, which is on the other side of the circuit board. Some more tubes, but these are the output tubes right here. This is an ELL80 in its original Velvo tube. Another big capacitor down there. I don't know the value, but maybe I'm going to replace it, I don't know. It still appears to be working fine, so I don't see quite a reason for replacing now. Seems to be connected here. I think that goes to the motor. So it's maybe some other start capacitor. There's the output transformers, as you can see. Let's see. Original Grundig transformers. Really hard to show it, but it's original Grundig transformers. Um, I can't read it. Something with 512. Oh, that's the original on-off lamp right there. Controls right there. Really, really classic machine. And believe it or not, but I just got this for free. It's crazy, isn't it? I um, traded it with a a box with all parts from other tape decks I took apart. And the person who got this was really proud with that and he gave me this. So, I didn't even have to pay for it, but first we thought, well I'd pay like 10 euro for it, but he accepted just only the box of parts. I was really lucky with this thing. So, it's amazing. It's my first tube amp. Never seen such a tube before. So, it's really nice. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do some more shots of it soon, I think.